Hi and welcome back. My name is Ken Garris with Acclaimed Entertainment Weddings by Occasions Music. I've been working here for 27 years now. And over the past 27 years, not only have I done a lot of events, just last year I averaged four per week, but I also train all of our disc jockeys here for all of the events. So I have a lot of experience and I know what works and what doesn't work at wedding receptions. What I'd like to talk to you about specifically in this short video is the DJ specialty. In other words, when you're looking at disc jockeys, some of them will say, my specialty is weddings or mine or class reunions, but let's go into weddings in particular. What kind of weddings do they do? There are many wedding DJs that I've seen that they start off right after the dancing with contemporary music. Older people go home, if you're having a money dance, you don't get as much money. You know, it's more like a party. There are other, and they think that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And, and I've done many events like that, that that's what the bride and groom wanted. But the norm, what most people want, is a disc jockey that specializes playing for family affairs. What I mean by that would be a disc jockey that plays the best music, not just the contemporary brand new stuff, that's important, but then they'll play the best stuff from the 90s, the best from the 80s, even the best from the 50s and 60s. Um, and there are ways to do that to make everybody dance. For example, our disc jockeys, when they do a 50s set, they'll play Rock Around the Clock, uh, maybe uh, um, Yakety Yak, or Let's Twist Again. And you know what they'll do for those two or three songs? They'll throw out 50 hula hoops, just for two songs. Photographers are taking photos. You have grandma there with the grandson, both doing hula hoops on the dance floor for two songs. So you get the family together like that. So when I say find out what your DJ specialty is, don't just have them say my specialty or wedding receptions. Specifically, what are they most comfortable doing at the wedding? What kind of music are they particularly playing? And the way they're dressed will tell you this too. You know, if they're dressing with their ball cap on and stuff, it's probably not a family affair, you know. If, they're, if they say we normally dress in a tux, you know, or a suit, we give you options. When you go with us, we allow you to select your attire for the disc jockeys, whether it's a tux, a suit, because we cater to everything. And our disc jockeys, unlike a lot of them that you're going to go out there and find separately that work just for themselves, ours all work exclusively for us. They're trained by us. I'm the lead trainer. That's my job. So they're all acting. So the same, the same DJs one week will be in a suit, and the next week they'll be in a, in a tux. Um, outdoor events, you know, they'll be in a nice casual outfit with a sweater. So, but it depends on your particular needs. But our specialty, our family affairs, that's what we do. For family affairs, you're going to have line dances incorporated into it. Well, you should, if it's a family affair. And you're going to have the best music out of every era. Your guests are going to make hours of music requests on their own, and you're going to couple that with the request that comes in from the bride and groom. And there's a separate video that discusses requests and how you should best give your DJs those requests. Um, you can check that out if you want to. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of uh, insight on when you're looking for a DJ, especially if it's not us. Because I can't tell you, so many DJs have tunnel vision. They do it this way, they think it's the only way it can be done. And because they do it this way, and it's the only way they've ever done it, they don't see the, what, what's, what it's missing. They don't see that they could really have dancing all night. I know so many DJs that are competitors of ours that think it's totally fine not to have dancing for the first hour. They say they go to drink a little bit more, you know, they go to do this a little bit more, you know, they just finished dinner, you know, nonsense. Have a DJ, get a DJ that knows how to help people have fun, boom, 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 you'll have dancing right from the beginning. And there's a uh, video on this YouTube page called Starting Your Dancing with a Bang, I think. Um, that covers all that, tells you how to do that, and tell, explains that a little bit more too. If you have any questions, post it on our Facebook page, or send me an email at acclaimedentertainment.com. Again, my name's Ken, and I wish you the very best. Check out our other videos.